Hi you all. Today we're going to look at your second maths lesson, which is to use column subtraction. So it's similar to what we did last week when we were looking at column addition. To be successful today, you will look at the number sentence, you will place the numbers in the correct columns, you will subtract the smallest number first and then move on to the next column, and then you will check your answer. Okay, so let's have a look at the first question. So as you can see here, we've got £37.94 take away £26.51. I mean, I, I could use the skills I learnt yesterday and um, use an approximation by rounding the numbers, but today I think I want to find the actual answers. Right, so when we're looking at column subtraction, first thing we do is we write the biggest number first. So in this case, the biggest number is 37, 37 pounds 94. So I write it down, 37, decimal place will always stay in the right in the same place, 94. My other number is 26 pounds 51. So if I'm using subtraction, I'm definitely taking away. Okay. And then all we need to do is we go back to the success criteria. Once we place the numbers in the correct columns, we subtract the smallest number first. So in this case, our smallest number is 4p and 1p. So 4 take away 1 is 3. 9 take away 5 is 4. Remember, the decimal place always remains in the same place. It does not move. Okay, 7 take away 6 is 1. 3 take away 2 is also 1. And then my pound sign. So my answer to £37.94 take away £26.51 is £11.43. Okay, sound easy? Excellent. Let's have a go at the second one. Okay. So this is the second one, your second example, and here it says £444.56 take away 1,111p. Okay, this is where I have to be a little bit smart and I have to use my knowledge from what we learnt previously in money in possibly year one, year two and year three. So if I know there's 100 pennies in a pound, I need to use my thinking skills. Okay, so here I've got 1111p. So all I do is just divide it by 100. And I know that 1111p becomes 11 pound 11 pence. Does that make sense? Okay, so what I do now is I place my numbers, so it's £444.56. Remember, decimal place always remains in the same place, so that stays there. And here, this time round, I've got £11.11. .11 pence. So I haven't got any hundreds, so I leave that blank. I know I've got some tens. So £11, oopsie, and 11 pence, and I write my subtract. Um, take away symbol and I take away. So 6 take away 1 is 5, 5 take away 1 is 4, decimal place always stays in the same place, 4 take away 1 is 3, 4 take away 1 is 3, and 4 take away nothing is 4. And there's my pound sign as well. I forgot to add my pound sign earlier as well, sorry. Okay, so I know 444 Take away £444.56, uh, pence, take away £11.11 11 pence is £433.45p. Right, I'm not going to show you any more examples, but I, what I will show you is your worksheet. Okay, so your worksheet will look like this. Here you've got a lot of questions. Okay, you then scroll down and you've got a squared table or grid, just like last week. And then you have a go at working out each answer okay you just click the box you write the number and so on and then you write your answer at the top press enter and then write any the answer 
the answer that you worked out. Again, if you have any problems or if you're struggling, ask a parent, ask a sibling to help. But always, as usual, pop me an email on Purple Mash and I will happily help. Okay, bye now. Take care.